what number I got here. A. I have seen evidence of telepathy in, in many people. Meet five-year-old Ramses Sanguino. His mother believes he's a child genius. She considers him a savant, a rare individual who has remarkable talents that defy their age and experience. Since he was a baby, I think um, he didn't like toys. He just loved reading books. That's an old periodic table. That's right, it's an old periodic table. Whilst other children his age might just be learning to read, Ramses is apparently able to read in several languages. Midori. good job. E. 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 And he can even tackle algebra. But his mum's boldest claim is that he's telepathic, as when she thinks of a number, he can read her mind. Okay, mission two. 81. The answer of mission three is 99. 99! Oh my goodness! Congratulations! We have a special connection, a really tight connection. I think it's a wonderful thing that he is, um, he does some telepathy. But is Ramses telepathic? His talents have drawn the attention of an expert in the field. Today I'm going to go and see Ramses, who's a five year old autistic boy and he is a very special boy. He has the ability to read at least seven or eight languages and his mother claims that he started to read languages when he was two years old. He started doing algebra when he was four years old and on top of that he actually has demonstrated telepathy. Dr. Diane Powell is a neuroscientist who's studying telepathy and its potential link with autism. She believes that it may represent an alternative method of communication between autistic children and their parents. If you have your primary language compromised, then that would be a perfect setup for telepathy because here you have a child and a parent who desperately want to communicate with one another. Today, Dr. Powell is going to test Ramsey's ability to identify numbers by reading his mother's mind. For this experiment to be scientifically rigorous, we need to have randomized stimuli. And so in order to do that, I'm using a site called random.org. Today, based on whatever numbers are generated, we're going to select cards, and then I will take the cards and I'll have them face down and I will hand them one to one to the mother. We're going to get the numbers now. So here are our numbers. Whilst Ramses waits in another room, five numbers between one and nine are selected by a random number generator. They are then represented by playing cards with an ace representing the number one. As it's claimed that Ramses can see the number by reading his mother's mind, Nix holds the cards and asks him to tell her the number. Ramses, what number I have here? Good job. Uh, one. Ramses, what number I got here? One. Good job. What number I got here? A. Did Good you job. did you say what did you say? He said eight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great job. Great Stay job. there. Nine. Good job, Papa. Well, one way to look at it is he re he got three out of the five correct. To get three of them correct, it would be one out of nine times one out of nine times one out of nine, which is one out of seven hundred and twenty-nine. The results, whilst encouraging, aren't conclusive, but Nix maintains that her son's abilities are out of this world, and she's not concerned that he may be able to read her mind. And for Dr. Powell, her research continues. It's very risky to one's credibility to take on a subject like this, and I realized that when I went into it. I am as confident that telepathy exists as I am of a lot of things that are actually accepted by science.